Hey awak, awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Jom kita revise sambil berehat. Sambil berehat pun, kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone. Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Jika anda pertama kali hadir, selamat datang saya ucapkan. Tapi jika anda pernah hadir dan kembali semula, terima kasih kerana sudi kembali. Jadi dalam video kali ini, jom kita discuss tiga soalan berkaitan dengan gravitational potential energy. Okay, so kita akan mulakan dengan example number one. So now let's read the question first. Calculate the gravitational potential energy U of an object of mass 80 kg on the surface of the earth and second at an altitude of 5 times 10 power of 4 kilometer. Okay, so let's say here we have an earth. Okay, and the object is on the surface of the earth. So, this is the center. So, the radius of the earth is equal to RE. And the radius is given. Okay. Uh, dekat depan kertas soalan akan diberi. Alright. So, now let's start to calculate. So, U is equal to negative G capital M small m over R. Okay. So, capital M is the mass of the earth. Small m is the mass of the object. So, let's substitute all the values. Okay, and the mass of the earth is given 6 exponent 24 kg and the mass of the object is 80 kg over Re, okay? So, this is the capital R, means that on the surface of the earth. So, 6.4 exponent 6 meter, okay? And then the answer should be equal to 5.0. Okay, negative jangan terlupa ya. Times 10 power of 9 joule. Alright. And then for the second part, we want to calculate the gravitational potential energy at an altitude. So, bila perkataan altitude, okay, means that this distance is measured from the surface of the earth. Okay. So, maknanya sekarang objek tu, let's say lah, objek tu dekat sini and from the surface of the earth, Given that the altitude is 5, okay, times 10 power of 4 kilometer. So, kilometer means that times 10 power of 3 meter. Tukarkan dulu kepada meter, so that akan jadi 5 times 10 power of 7 meter. Okay, so we just substitute in this equation, negative gmm over r. Okay, so small r means that the radius of the earth from the center plus the altitude h. Okay. So, kita kena total up kan ni lah daripada center of the earth kepada dekat mana kedudukan objek tersebut. So, kita boleh kira asing. Okay. 6.4 exponent 6 plus h is given 5 times 10 power of 7 meter. Okay. Ha, unit saya tak letak dululah. Okay. Meter. So, r is equal to 5.67 exponent 7. Sorry, 5.64. 5.64 exponent 7 meter. So, we can substitute again in this equation. Negative jangan terlupa. Okay. So, 6 exponent 24 times 80 over R is 5.64 exponent 7. Okay, so U is equal to negative 5.68 times 10 power of 8 joule. Alright, so finish part A. So B, compare the gravitational potential energy of the object on the surface of the earth and at altitude of 5 times 10 power of 4 kilometer. Boleh eh? So, bila kita nak compare kan, look at here. So, this is the power of 9 and this is the power of 8. So, ini akan jadi dalam bentuk negative 50 eh. 50 times 10 power of 8 joule. And this is maintain 5.68. Okay. So, kalau kita compare kan, let's say I will name this is as point A and this is as point B. So, the potential energy, you can see here that the potential energy at point B, okay, semakin jauh daripada surface of the earth, 
the potential energy at point B adalah lebih besar ataupun kita kata less negative. Ha, kalau kita compare kan negative 5.68 dengan negative 50 siapa yang lagi less negative? Tentulah this number negative 5.68 means that when we try to compare for B jadi kita boleh tulis based on equation U equal to negative G mm over r okay so when r is increasing u will become less negative okay so based on this question so therefore rb okay at position b rb is bigger than RA. Okay. So we can say that. Okay. Potential energy at point B. Is bigger than potential energy at point A. Boleh eh? uh, So when R is increasing. The value of U become less negative. Okay. Uh, become less negative tu maksud dia. U dia adalah increasing. Boleh. Okay, so UB akan jadi lagi besar iaitu less negative daripada potential energy at point A which is on the surface of the earth. Okay, so finish example number 1. So let's proceed to example number 2. Okay, example number 2 is very simple. So here we have a satellite of mass 50 kg. Okay, it's orbiting earth at an altitude A of 5 times 10 power of 7 meter. So, the mass and the radius of the earth is given. Calculate the energy loss when the satellite falls from that altitude back to the earth. Okay. So, cuba kita sketch dulu. So, let's say here we have uh, the earth. Okay. And the position. So, now let's sketch the position of point A. So, for example, this is point A. Okay. At an altitude of A lah. Ha, soalan dah bagi tadi ok tapi soalan bagi the altitude from here is given 5 times 10 power of 7 meter ok so this is the center of the earth and this is the radius of the earth ok so we want to calculate the energy loss when the satellite falls from point A to point B. Ha, kita namakanlah point A dan dekat sini kita namakan dia on the surface of the earth. Let's put point B. Okay. So let's find first what is the potential energy at point A. Okay. So we can find the initial position. Okay. We know that UA is equal to negative G mm over RA where remember RA is position from the center of the earth plus the height of the altitude H tadi lah. Okay. So, awak cuba kira berapa you dapat. Okay. Ha, ni boleh masukkan nanti kat bawah ni boleh masukkan terus. Negative 6.67 exponent negative 11. Okay. Times the mass of the earth. And the mass of the satellite. And then RA which is. Uh, from the center. So, the radius of the earth. Okay. Uh, plus 5 times 10 power of 7. So, the altitude. Okay. Cuba kira masukkan dalam nilai ni. You akan dapat negative 6.55 times 10 power of 8 joule. Okay. That one is the potential energy at point A. So, what is the potential energy? At the final position, which is on the surface of the earth at point B. So, saya akan tulis macam inilah. Over R. So, I will put capital R. So, you know that the radius is from the center of the earth to the surface. Okay. So, dia adalah radius of the earth. Okay. So, negative 6.67. So, the mass of the earth. And this is the mass of the satellite. So, the radius of the earth is given. Okay. 
So we substitute all the values. So UB you akan dapat negative 3.13 times 10 power of 9 joule. Okay. So kalau kita nak compare kan. Okay awak nampak eh. Position A lagi jauh kan daripada surface of the earth. So kalau saya nak compare kan. U mana yang lagi besar. So ini power of 9 ni saya nak tukar jadi negative 31.3 times 10 power of 8 joule. Okay. So kita dah boleh compare kan. 3.55 dengan 31.3 so at point A the gravitational potential energy is less negative uh, compared to potential energy at point B so they become less negative uh, ok so nombor yang less negative negative 3.55 lagi besar kan daripada negative 31.3 ok so kat sini kita boleh nampak UA lagi besar daripada UB Okay, sebab itu soalan sebut calculate the energy loss. Okay, energy loss. So, from point A, initial position to final position, we can see here that at point A, the potential energy is bigger than potential energy at point B. Okay, ha? so sebab itu soalan pun sebut calculate the energy loss. So, we want to calculate what is the uh, energy loss. So, saya tulis kat tepi ni eh, sorry. So, we want to calculate the energy loss. So, I will put energy loss okay which is delta u is equal to u final minus u initial so now we can substitute the values so u loss is equal to awak masukkanlah nilai tadi okay u final is negative 31.3 exponent 8 minus uh, 3.55 exponent 8 uh, tak muat <laughs> tepi tu eh Ha, so, awak kira akan dapat negative 2.78 times 10 power of 9 joule. Okay, so this is the answer. So, finish example number 2. So, let's proceed to example number 3. Okay, question number 3. So, here we have a satellite of mass 100 kg revolved around the earth in a circular orbit of radius 2r. Okay, again, so let's say here we have the earth. Okay, and then uh, the satellite is at position, the first position is, so look at here, the question state that the first position of the satellite is at radius of 2R. Okay, so radius of 2R, uh, maknanya dari mana ke mana? Sinilah. Okay, kalau sini adalah R. Okay, so dia dah sebut radius of 2R means that R is equal to 2R. Okay, uh, so kita namakanlah mungkin position dia kat sini. Uh, okay, the first position. Okay, so let's sketch the orbit. Okay. Uh. And then the question state that determine the energy needed to move the satellite to a new orbit of radius 3R. Okay, so let's say this is the new orbit. Okay. Okay, I will put here. Okay, the position. Let's use the another color. Okay. I will use this one. Okay. So, R. And this is another one. R. And this is R. Okay. So, the first ataupun initial position, I will put I. Initial position. So, R I is equal to 2 R. Okay. So, the final position here, where R final is equal to 3R. Boleh Okay. So, kita ada 2R and 3R. Okay. So, 2R is measured from the center to the first position. Where the second R, okay, the final one, the final position should be from the center here. Okay. To this position. Okay. So, determine the energy needed to move the satellite to a new orbit. Okay. So, means that this is the initial position and this is the final And the green color is the final position. Okay. So, I will write U energy. Okay. The potential energy. Okay. At the first position, UI negative G M M over RI. Okay. So, let's substitute all the values. Okay, G 
एम एम ओवर टू आर इज इट येस ओके सो फॉर यू फाइनल इट शुड बी नेगेटिव जी एम एम ओवर आर फाइनल वे आर एफ इज इक्वल टू थ्री आर ओके दे फॉर इन ऑर्डर टू कैलकुलेट द एनर्जी ओके द एनर्जी नीडेड टू मूव द सेटेलाइट टू अ न्यू ऑर्बिट सो इट्स इक्वल टू द चेंज ऑफ द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी यू फाइनल माइनस यू इनिशियल ओके वी कैन सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यूज सो जी एम एम ओवर थ्री आर माइनस द इनिशियल वन नेगेटिव जी एम एम ओवर टू आर और बेस्ड ऑन दिस इक्वेशन वी कैन फैक्टराइज नेगेटिव जी एम एम ओवर आर एंड देन वी राइट वन ओवर थ्री माइनस वन ओवर टू ओके सो लेट्स ट्राई टू कैलकुलेट फर्स्ट व्हाट इज द वैल्यू सो सब्सिट्यूट नेगेटिव ओके सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन एक्सपोनेंट नेगेटिव इलेवन द मैस ऑफ द अर्थ सिक्स पॉइंट Ten power of twenty four, and the mass of the satellite is one hundred. Okay, over. This one should be the radius of the Earth r. Okay, and times one over three minus one over two. Ah, berapa tu you dapat? Negative, right? Negative one over six. Okay, times negative one over six. Okay, so the answer should be positive. So one point zero four times ten power of nine joule. Okay. So the amount of energy needed for the satellite to move to new orbit, which is three uh, r from the center of the Earth, is equal to one point zero four exponent nine joule. So finish all examples under subtopic potential energy. And in the next video, I will discuss questions related to the escape velocity and tangential velocity and also period. Okay, so see you in the next video to discuss more examples under subtopic 7.3. So, jumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. Bye-bye.